Number three, I would like to know how I can improve my communicational skills. Sometimes it's difficult to initiate and ask what other people need. So instead of asking them, I will tell them what I need and then I find myself being blamed for being selfish. <laughs> I'm an INFP. Uh, is there something I can do to help others with this problem? Uh, sorry, is there something I can do to help with this problem? Hello, INFP. Yes, there is. The reason why you find it so difficult to initiate uh, conversations about other people's needs is because you are, you are, your feeling process is inward facing. So the way you're trying to put it across to the other person is that you're trying to get them to be able to relate to what you're going through so that they can then volunteer information for you. So instead of an INFJ would just ask, you know, how are you, you know, the other person, how are you going, what do you need? Whereas an INFP with the inward facing feeling function would start talking about themselves and then come across as if they are in fact selfish and self-involved and self-focused. Now, that's, um, and just to be clear, before anybody throws some kind of a tantrum about this, I'm not saying that INFPs are those things. I'm saying INFPs can be perceived to be that way because of this, um, this wiring, this inner wiring around the feeling process. So basically what you can do there is you can actually learn to ask and just like any other skill learning to ask other people what they need how they're doing and what they need is just practicing and being okay to not get it done perfect straight away so for me it's like you know if i see somebody who's really struggling uh, with something or I think I'm, I'd want to talk to them about what they're going through or what they might need. Um, maybe you're in a, like a really stressful situation. So what you could say is, oh my goodness, this is really stressing me out. How are you feeling about this? Or I need a glass of water. Do you need a glass of water? Do you, what, can I get you something? Or, you know, I've been having such a challenging day. <clears throat> And uh, I'm wondering how your day has been going. So you can kind of start with yourself, but then turn it outward. And when you do that, you usually actually get um, a, a really good response because, you know, you're given the other person almost like a permission to share of themselves because you've already shared of yours. So especially if you're an INFP and you're having a conversation with an outer harmony person, uh, they, if you just ask them, how are you doing? They'll say, yeah, I'm good. And how are you? And they'll turn it towards you. Whereas if you say straight up, hey, um, I've been having a really stressful day and I'm wondering, how are you doing? Now you're almost giving a, a like a, a permission for the other person to just say, yeah, you know what? It's been super stressful for me too. So I hope that that helps with that. It's Look, your problem is a wiring problem and that doesn't mean that you can't learn new things. Of course you can, because you can always rewire yourself. So once you've done enough personal development work and you worked on your, your light functions as well as your shadow functions, your, personal, your personality type becomes irrelevant. So anybody can learn any of these, these you know, if you, if, if, even if you have inward facing feeling, you can still learn outward facing feeling. You just have to learn it. It's like, okay, I'm going to learn how to do this and I'm going to be okay not getting it perfect straight away and I'm going to do it at least 30 times before I make any judgment about whether I, or not it, it worked out. So give yourself some grace and, and keep asking those questions. So I hope that that helps.